Taurus, welcome into this reading. If you have been drawn to click onto this video or it has come across to your YouTube feed on, on your phone, on your TV or computer, and you're going, I think I'm going to click onto this video, there is a message in here for you, from your spiritual team to you. So let us begin this reading. Thank you for being here as well, Taurus. You are so appreciated by me. So let's get in here and have a look and see what is this message that you need to be hearing at this moment. Remember, this is also a timeless reading. Whenever you get it, you're meant to receive it. Ask your angels. You Have you been asking something of your angels here? Um, possibly several areas of your life or one specific area. There could be more than one thing that you are asking about here. There could be something here that you are praying for, something that you have questions about or you're wondering about a situation. And it's almost like you are actually looking for answers to something. Okay. Um, there could be one area or two different areas of your life here that's being affected. I feel like you are trying to find the answers here to something. You are trying to find the questions and the answers to something in your life. I keep on picking up it's not in one area of your life. I almost feel like there's two different areas or there's different situations going on where you kind to, you're trying to get the answers to this or you're trying to get solutions to a problem. Okay, very interesting. So we have got darkest fears. There is definitely something that you're worried about here. I feel like you are really projecting into the future because I keep on picking up this energy of you like, sitting here i know you're sitting there looking at the angel but it's almost like you're sitting there and you're looking into the future and i keep on picking up it's almost like you're looking at your whole life in some kind of way and you imagining certain scenarios going on here this is the nine of swords energy so you may be sitting up at night and that's when you even pray maybe to god to angels to whatever you believe in whatever is your your belief system and you're asking like when is this is this going to happen for me is everything going to be okay and you i feel like you're also kind of imagining certain scenarios turning out your like your darkest fear literally um i will give you just one little bit of a like an advice because this is the one thing that i know with regards to um uh like changing your life uh, and the future and all these kind of things and how we actually affect that. This is your most precious moment, Taurus, that you can ever have. The moment that you get in bed at night and you put your head down on the pillow, what happens in those moments or hours after you try to get to sleep is the most important time in your whole life. Because if I could tell you as a hedge witch, okay, if I could tell you that whatever you imagine as you put your head down on the pillow, will become reality. How careful will you be about what you think about? And if it was like, I proved it to you 100%, this is what happens to you. So if you're picturing that you're going to be alone and you'll never be with a person, you, you will maybe won't have enough money, you'll get kicked out into the street and you won't be able to take care of yourself. And you're just imagining, oh my goodness, I'm losing my home. And oh my goodness, I'm getting divorced. And you start imagining all these really darkest fears. Do you know you literally are pulling those energies towards you? Your most powerful moment is when you're moving from conscious mind into subconscious mind. And that happens when you're at that moment of falling asleep. You're half there and you're half not there. Your subconscious mind is what controls the whole situation. And that programming happens at that moment. So don't think about your darkest fears at that time. Think about everything going the way you want it to go. Please just... If you don't even know me, it's the first time you've been here, just do it. Okay, if you don't do anything, go to bed tonight and think about being in the most unbelievably beautiful relationship. How you meet this person, how you get along with each other, the day you get married, living with each other, having children, thinking about your financial future and the home that you live in, your career, your business, how well it is doing, the growth that you have, the stability, and put yourself into those fantasies and think about that. And I promise you, I'm not even joking. I promise you it's one of the most powerful things you can ever do. And do it every night. A, you will never suffer from insomnia ever again. Okay, you will sleep like a baby. And you will wake up into that reality. If you keep doing it on an everyday basis, you will shift into that new reality. Please, if it's the last thing you do, just do that. You don't take anything else from me. If I, those were my last words, okay, on this planet, okay, um, it would be that. 
I will tell you that. There is also relationship issues there. So I feel like you do have a worry with relationships. Um, Gemini coming in here with the lover's card. You do have a worry with regards to relationships, um, with regards to what is going on in maybe a current relationship or even um, in your, in, in maybe you're single and you're just going like, my goodness gracious, how am I going to manage this? So let's have a look now and get into the tarot and get more information out here. Definitely there is worries about relationship. There is worries about um, uh, maybe you're having a steady relationship or even one that you're currently in. So let's have a look if anything else does pop up here. I've got cards that have fallen down. Okay, so I'm going to take them. There's a situation here. Um, yeah, you definitely have to look at things from a spiritual point of view, first of all. We've got the high priestess that the priestess that has fallen down here underneath the, the darker spheres. And the high priestess comes with the Knight of Swords. So I do feel like there is a bit of a um kind of like where you're thinking from. The darker sphere is you need to start looking at this energy from a more spiritual point of view. And I feel like a spirit guide, that's really going back to exactly what I was talking about. Um, the high priestess energy view would be basically somebody who's working on something through a spiritual means. And I feel like it's attached to what happens if you're really stressed out at night and really needing to put that thought process into focus here with the knight of swords coming in here it's almost like you need to really put that energy of what you are thinking about at night start to look at things from more of a different energetic point of view because that is the most powerful energy that you have and i feel as if if you can get that right if you can sort out your thoughts especially when you're about to go to bed and start to shift it into this energy of how do I really want this to look and be for me? You're going to have a major shift happen here. A major breakthrough that's going to take place for you. I promise you. Everything, um, that's what I ended up, you know, with me being a hate witch. It's what made me actually um, uh, understand being a witch above anything else. Because I used to see everything as energy. And it is actually so. And I knew that if I've got an external problem in my life, I have to start looking at it from the inside first with the high priestess and that is actually how things shift and change and you can have the power to control that and doing that at night time is one of the easiest ways you don't need anything you just need your mind and your will power okay so let's have a look and see we've got a seven of swords and a nine of wands there is definitely something here that you do not want to experience again. There's a negativity or a negative person here that you're asking about, a situation that you are just closing down from. It feels like you need to protect yourself from this situation. This could be in more than one area of your life. It, I definitely feel there's some kind of relationship problem happening here. It could be the lack of a relationship or relationships that come in that are just absolutely negative. You don't believe any longer that things are going to be okay here. It's almost like you feel like I can't get into another relationship if you're single. Or if I do get into a relationship, people just want to end up hurting me here. So this is very interesting. So you could be asking, will there ever be the right person for me? Or is the situation I'm going to be in, is it ever going to be the way I want it to be? So let's get in here. King of Pentacles coming in here. And the Sun card. You got... First of all, they, I feel like this energy, to be honest with you, um, it's affecting more than one area of your life here. I feel like there's joy and happiness. We're looking at the, the end row. So I feel like you, yes, you, you're going to have a shift in love here. There is going to be a different kind of relationship coming in for you. And it's like you're praying and asking, dear God or dear angels, spirit guides, um, am I ever going to be in a loving relationship? And the answer to you is yes, you are. You are, okay? And the second question, I do feel like it's coming up as well, has got to do maybe with the relationship, but also with stability in your life. And they're kind of letting you know, am I going to be financially safe and stable? And the answer is yes, you are with the Queen of Pentacles being there. You're going to feel safe in your life. You're going to feel stable and financially strong as well in whichever way that is for you. And at the end here, you have your happiness. So you are heading to a place where you will get that happiness that you are asking for, where you're going to get the joy with regards to a relationship, where you're going to get the joy with regards to how your life is unfolding and the growth that will take place here in the sun card. So for me, yes, there's a big shift coming. What you are asking for, this reading answers those questions for you. There we go. Thank you so much, my beautiful Taurus. I hope you don't mind me giving you a little bit of advice like this because if you were my child, you know, or my, my brother or sister, um, 
you know, I would give this advice to you because I know it works. It's helped millions of people in this world, this kind of information, and it can help you as well. If it helped other people, why not you? So take that advice about, especially when you go to bed at night and just put it into your life. Change that, just that one thing. Just that one thing when I was talking about here, use this energy of the high priestess in you or the high priest in you to make a change in your life and just keep doing it. Even if you don't see the results immediately, it's going to take time to reteach your mind how to do this. And when you do it, I promise you, you're going to start to see the changes happening in your life and you will be shocked. There we go. Thank you so much for being here. And you are so appreciated by me. I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.